Hello beautiful beings, welcome to the channel where we grow glow and expand our soul and today I want to talk about something that we do pretty often without even realizing and without even any conscious effort. We kind of do this anyway and it's complaining. Every human does this, like we're all guilty of doing this, but whether it's about something going on in our life or through these circumstances, you know, we all complain about something. Now how this ties in with manifestation is you already know. You already know what I'm going to say. If you're trying to manifest something and if you complain about not it happening, like how do you expect it is going to happen? Many times I see people just, especially in the comment section where it's like, and not on the internet in general, where people just vent all their stories out, complaining, complaining, complaining on manifestation videos, on their circumstances where they know that if you want to attract what you want you're not going to complain about it like if you had what you want right now you would not complain about it at all not one bit instead you would say that oh i already have it like a person who already has their manifestation would not complain about it and i know it's a healthy and very okay to vent because that's not what i'm trying to talk about i'm not talking talking about uh, suppressing your emotions suppressing how you feel but whenever you're trying to manifest something the number one rule is to not complain about it your words your language, the way you, what do you talk about on a day-to-day -day basis kind of determines your reality because think about it, a person with the reality that you do want to live, what would they be saying all day? What would they be thinking all day? And they would not be complaining about what they don't have or what they do. They already have it. So it's natural for them. It's so casual. Like, okay, yeah, I have this. You have to believe in yourself. You have to keep persisting. You have to keep saying things, living the life that you want to live, saying beautiful things about yourself and others. And if you want to complain, if you do want to vent about it, write it out on a journal, burn it up, throw all the paper out do all these things to just get it out of your system if you really really feel the need to complain if you really feel like you have to do it but i just want to say that your words are spells and so if you keep complaining stop complaining stop complaining stop just stop stop talking stop talking stop talking why complain why 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 complaining why or just keep complaining why not you know don't we don't, don't even worry about living in your dream reality don't even worry about getting what you want it's okay you can keep complaining we have to take control and become aware of how we speak and how we think and how we act. The version of ourself that is living our dream reality right now is so close to you. It's not that far from you. All it takes is aligning your words, actions, and thoughts with that person and just embodying it fully right now. If you really want to keep complaining, you can just assume that no matter what I think, say, act, or feel if I complain, I'll still get what I want. If you create that assumption, then you're good. You're good. Just create that assumption. Then you complain all you want, honestly. But if you don't have that assumption and you complain and then you do notice that you're not getting what you want, then just I think you should just stop, create the habit of not complaining. Because I bet complaining in the moment probably feels so good to you. It just probably makes you feel so good. It's so therapeutic. But it's just feeding into the victim mentality. Like, oh, poor me. Look at me. The universe is not giving me what I want. The universe is not going to reward you complaining. It's not going to give you what you want faster because you are complaining. If it is more comfortable for you to talk that way, it's because it's all, maybe it's all that you ever known. And well, in that case, like, let it be known, okay? You deserve to have good things happen to you. Or from right now, amazing things are always happening to me. Like, you deserve to feel good. You deserve to say good things. You deserve to have a good life and have so many amazing things in your life to talk about. You know, you should deserve to say beautiful, uplifting, empowering fun exciting things about your life you know the life that we're creating that should be our new habit because why would we even want that habit that's kind of draining because complaining may feel good like oh this is this and then we join with other people and that's another thing like talking with other people like oh well uh, yeah this and like relating with them like oh my god yeah right i know life's so this life's so that this is why i know and then you're just like drowning in misery together like is that really what we want is that really what we're going for that temporary satisfaction of relating to someone because of this complaining of the circumstance when in reality we could be just focusing our attention elsewhere. And if you don't discipline yourself into getting out of the habit of complaining and not giving into these natural habits because these natural habits are already auto they're on autopilot. If we, every time if we choose a better thought, if we choose to say something else, it's okay if we complain a little bit. You know, we're humans, okay? I'm not saying to just completely... Okay, I'm saying to completely stop. I'm not saying, like, just ignore how you feel. Because complaining, essentially, is we have... We're kind of, like, getting frustrated with the 3D reality. We're like, what is happening? So we take it out in a way that is kind of, like... Kind of just reinforces our 3D reality. When in, when, in fact, we should do the opposite. So if we see something that we don't like, we say... Oh, but yeah money's definitely coming into my bank account, like, 100%. Like, honestly, it's good to have, like, a friend that is... That 
is into law of attraction law of assumption you know honestly have a good internet friend as well so you can call each other out whenever you're saying something limiting and like something slipping up because i'm once again we are human so we think like so many thoughts in a day so whatever is like coming out of our mouth we sometimes we don't know and it's okay so it's sometimes it's good to have someone around you that can call that out so you can just immediately like leave and re say, reword the what you say so like yeah we're not robots and having friends that are aware of this like is super beneficial but if you don't have that you know it's not necessary to have someone else it's super helpful you are all you need at the end of the day so you don't need anyone else you are powerful just as you are so you don't need anyone but i'm just saying it's super helpful to have just a support group in general so even online or in person whatever it's good to have like a support group but still if you'd rather complain even after listening to all this keep doing it come on that's good for you if you're so persistent on complaining keep going you know good luck good luck getting what you want i'm sorry and another alternative to complaining when you do feel like you want to let something out, when you want to like rant to someone, you want to vent out something, instead of doing that, why not just write it all in a journal? And if that's not for you, because other people express things differently, why not just exercise, do a nice little workout, release all that tension, all that pent up anger, frustration out into a workout or into art. If you're into art, do it art. If you're into journaling, write it all out and burn up that paper, rip it up throw it in the water, drown that paper, you know, let it go that way if you feel like it, whatever you feel most connected to. Another way you can do is if you feel like you compl- want to complain, put on a funny video, put on, maybe put on something motivational on YouTube, maybe start watching success stories on YouTube and maybe that will motivate to get out of that mindset or maybe observe people have like a person that you want to like kind of don't want to live the same life as but they're kind of like your inspiration so maybe watch kind of observe their mannerisms how what they how they talk about their life what they're like and look at them and think about them what would x person do right now if they were in this situation what would they do if they were in my situation what would they say if they were in my situation so having that's like really helpful like having a person in your mind that you are inspired by and thinking in your current situation how would they act how would they feel how would they do because if that's the person you want to become who would they be doing things would they be saying things would they be thinking things that you are going that you're doing right now right and also another thing you can do is get in the habit of being grateful for what you already have and more to come you know being grateful already in advance of your manifestations coming into fruition that's like super popular i have a super simple gratitude technique video in which i show you a super simple technique how to like instantly like raise your vibe and instantly get out of that mentality and i do it with you and then also give you space to do it as well so you can like check out that video it's like really super helpful and it really gets you in the mindset of being grateful and seeing like being present in this reality and seeing like oh my god i have so much abundance i'm so grateful for everything that i have and we need to just stop being in the victim mentality we need to stop we need to get out of that victim mentality and instead become the hero of our own story as leor alexander often like says like it has been saying that for a while now living as you're the hero of your story because your life is like kind of like a book like each chapter leading to the next um your trials tribulations and like the heroes in greek mythology like they go through so many trials tribulations challenges obstacles but they like they end up victorious and if you know if it weren't if they didn't get over if they weren't strong enough to handle those trials and tribulations like you know they were they're meant for them for them to go through and overcome so they will become victorious like but even though they went through all those hardships they still came out victorious that's our story we're the hero of our own story no matter what we go through we still come out strong we come out better than ever more powerful than ever and we're ready to take on whatever that comes our way because we're not getting bogged down by the 3d reality we're not getting bogged down by circumstances but what other people say but what other people say about us what they do what they how they interact you know we're still gonna come out successful we're meant to success is meant for us we are successful especially if you're watching this video i know you are meant to be successful and just because it's a bad day doesn't mean it will be a bad life everything is temporary experiences are temporary life is constantly changing you're always seeing movement manifesting this manifestation is constantly happening all around you no matter what you say i'm not manifesting i'm not this manifesting is always happening no matter what get in the habit of catching yourself complaining and just snapping that oh yeah it's working out for me already it's already happened it happened so fast um yeah isn't it wonderful isn't it amazing just like slap yourself back into your old reality you're like going slipping slipping into old state no everything is perfect everything is already aligning for me everything is working out universe always got my back it's supporting me everything is always constantly working out for me bam just slap yourself back into the reality and another thing is when we are complaining we're kind of affirming like that is our story that is our story like for example 
He's cheering so loudly. Oh my god. Like, yeah, he is. Like, right in front of you. That's what's happening. You're just narrating what's happening in front of you, okay? That's what the 3D is showing you. And you're affirming it as well. So, your next moment is also going to be that person is going to be cheering really loudly. The present moment creates the next moment, creates the next, next moment where they are cheering loudly again. But then, did you just decide to say that they are? So, they will chew loudly. But instead, you just see them chewing loudly, like, dang, that person eats so quietly. Quiet as a mouse, you know? It doesn't even bother me. It doesn't even bother me. That person is eating so quietly. So quietly, yeah. But no more, no more of that, okay? So that's all I have for today's video. Let me know in the comments below how you feel. What do you do when you get into the mindset victim mentality mode? How do you get out of it? And I hope this video helps you, give you a new perspective, a new insight on maybe what you needed to hear. So let me know in the comments below. You are in. You deserve the best. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.